Hey, welcome back to The Past is Alive, and thank you for tuning in. In tonight's Mythbusters-style episode, we're going to be testing out a rumor that dates the entire way back to my childhood in the early 90s. And that rumor is that it's possible to use a metal detector to pinpoint the elusive Don Russ Elite Baseball cards in boxes. So back then, the legend has it that vendors were buying cases upon cases of these cards and then using a metal detector to pinpoint the exact boxes that these cards were located in, and then ripping them and selling them as singles. And back then, these cards were very sought after and valuable, and they still are desired to this day, but they aren't quite as valuable as they once were. So I figured, what better way to test this theory than to get myself a metal detector? So I went on eBay, and I found a cheap one for 20 bucks that had good reviews, bought that, got a bunch of boxes of Don Russ, so we are all set to go, and we can finally test this theory out after all these years and see if it is in fact possible. So I got the metal detector in the mail, and at first glance, this thing is pretty suggestive looking, but trying to look past that, I popped the battery cap off. Of course, it takes nine volt batteries, which I didn't have, so I, you had to yank the smoke detector off the ceiling and pull the 9 volt out of there. Okay, so we got everything back together now. Let's turn it on, give it a go. It looks like it works fine. Let's test it on some common household items. We've got a stainless steel pot. Metal detector has no problem picking that one up. And on to the next item here. 1993 Pepsi bottle featuring Shaq and the bottle cap. Makes the metal detector go wild. On to the next one, the final little test here. The Hill Shopping Cart. Can I pick this up? Of course it can. It's going absolutely insane over the Hill Shopping Cart. I don't blame it. Now the moment we've all been waiting for, we have seven Don Russ boxes before us. The legend has it that if there is an Elite card in one of these, the metal detector will in fact go off. And as you see here, literally no activity whatsoever on the metal detector. But it could just mean that there's no elite cards in these boxes. So what we have to do next is we have to go straight to the source and test it out on an actual elite card and see if this elite card will, in fact, trigger the metal detector. And literally nothing. Nothing at all. So we have finally disproved the age-old rumor that a metal detector will pick up elite cards in boxes. You saw it here. That's good news for us because we got seven boxes to rip into. So we're going to keep going until we are able to uncover one of these cards. And let's go ahead and get started tonight. We're going to rip into 91 Don Russ. See if we can't find ourselves one of those eight elite cards or the Nolan Ryan Legends card or even the Ryan Sandberg autograph. Let's get down to it. These are Series 1, the blue border. Series 2 was known for their green border. Really no notable rookie cards in Series 1 or even Series 2 for that matter. We are looking for one of these elusive elite cards. And maybe tonight is the night we will finally pull one. That would be amazing. So we're not going to spend a lot of time on anything else. Jose Lean, I love that card as a kid. Wade Boggs All-Star card. Mickey Morandini, rookie, would have been kind of a decent one back in the early 90s. These have been wrapped up in wax for 29 years. It's a Clemente puzzle. Oral Hershiser. Ryan Sandberg highlights. Maybe we'll see one of his autographs tonight. That would be amazing, but... We finally laid that theory to rest that it's possible to use a metal detector to find the elite cards. I've wanted that since I was a kid, and peace of mind to finally know that it's not possible. Keith Comstock had several air cards in his career. And there are really no inserts you can get out of here other than the highlights. Diamond Kings. Um, Diamond Kings are actually subset cards. But, so if we see an elite, uh, an elite card, we will know it right off the bat. Mark McGuire, all-star card. Pedro Guerrero. Larry Walker's second year. Checklist. And nothing else notable in that pack. Usually a box these will cost you. I see them a lot for five bucks, sometimes ten. It seems like they may have gone up a little bit. 
with the wax increase and craze it's having. Kyle Ripken. Jeff King and Vaughn Hayes, who we never, ever cared for. I think just because of his name. But we were also little kids, so. These packs are pretty hard to open. They will drive you crazy if you're trying to tear through a whole box quickly like I am. Sandberg, Diamond Kings on top. George Brett, good pack so far. Old Can Boyd. Canseco, American League All-Star card. Cam and Eddie. Mark Grace. Steve Avery. We're going to try to rip through this as fast as possible. See if we can find one. And we'll make this a regular series. There's a Maddox with the Cubbies on top. Bob Welch. Matt Williams. Ray Langford rookie card. Milt Kyler. Nothing else notable in that pack. See how fast. One of the Guinness Book of World Records for ripping through a wax box is. If there even is a record for that. Probably not. But maybe we'll set one here tonight. Henderson. All-Star. Dave Rigetti. Diamond Kings. Jose Uribe. Smiling, probably because of the ridiculousness and chase his 90 Fleer card that ensued for quite a while and feels like it's still going on. Ron Gant, Bo Jackson highlights. Dalton, no elite yet. I just have to have like Freddy Krueger claws to freaking open these packs. Dave Bergman leading off. Roger Clemens highlights from McGuire and Junior Felix. How crazy would that be to pull the Sandberg Auto? You don't want to go too fast because if you do have an elite card in here, you don't want to ding the corners on it. Gonzalez, second year card for him. Edgar Martinez, McGuire All-Star card again. After you open so many of these, they start to get really tedious and just start to I think, make you angry. I used to buy a lot of these as a kid. Don Russ was affordable. Roger Clemens and John Smoltz. It's affordable compared to some of the other companies that were around, like Upper Deck, I feel like. Don Russ was a little cheaper. Don Russ and Score always seemed to be a little cheaper. At least in the early 90s. You never, you never have a clean rip here. I always gotta fight the clutches of life to get one of these off. Fisk, Will Clark. Kurt Stillwell, Johnson highlights. We're probably about close to halfway through the box. Mattingly, RJ Reynolds, Molitor, Bernard Gilkey, Alan Trammell, and Larkin, Diamond Kings. You always got like a nice residue left over after you open these 80s and 90s packs. There's always a nice little collection left to clean up. Jim Abbott, Jerome Walton, and our hot name from the 80s and 90s, McGuire's base card. They're Nolan Ryan. And Griffey, that's a good pack. Todd Zeal. I've probably been more stoked about the Todd Zeal in 1991 than anything else. Honestly. No sign of Elite yet, but plenty of wax. Clemens Smoltz, same collation. Alex Cole and those ridiculous rec specs. Look, look at that nice clean rip right there. Steve Bouchel, never really cared for him. Jose leaned. Boggs, all star card again, and no sign of any elite. And there's a Sosa second year on top of the pack. Cool card. Andre Dawson, Nolan Ryan highlights. Boggs, not a good pack. Been some decent packs out of here. Gary Carter and Randy Johnson. So, a bunch of stars and Hall of Famers in that pack. Let's move them up. We are getting down to it. I'm going to need to go take and relax my hands after this is over because of how difficult it is to get these wrappers off. Greg Maddox, Matt Williams, Diamond Kings. I definitely uh, bought a case of rack packs of these a while ago. It was when I first started the channel and ripped the whole entire case in one sitting and was pretty miserable after that. Griffey All-Star card's a cool one. Derek Bell, who I don't think most people cared for. I know I didn't. Greg Hibbert with a mullet. Chris Sabo. Lavin, Lenny Dykstra. Fisk. 
Mark Lewis, Ray Rookie, and no Elite yet. Alan Mills, Milt Kyler, Joe Carter, Bo Jackson, and Shane Mack. Hopefully no one's getting migraine yet from these crazy blue borders. Will Clark on top. Yeah, you can tell immediately if there's any elites in these packs. McGriff, speaking of McGriff, when my brother pulled a McGriff elite out of a pack as a kid in 1991. That's from Children's Palace. Man, was I jealous. And I've wanted to pull one ever since, and I just never have. It's always been a goal of mine to pull one of those. Clemens, Ventura, and Dante Bichette. So I'm hoping that it's definitely a little easier to pull an elite card than it is by Frank Thomas in the front. And it's a little more um, obtainable these days with 90 Tops wax boxes. Ron Robinson, that's a creepy card to him. 90 Tops boxes have just freaking gone in the way of the dodo. They just keep going on price, so take a little break from those until they maybe like steady a little bit and come back down because I don't think anyone wants to pay 50 bucks for 90 tops box. Mark McGuire highlights card again. Jeff Robinson and Steve Lake. Cecil Fielder, Diamond Kings, Rifkin All Star, Phil Plantier. Cut pretty horrible. That was probably the best card in the set back in 91. Bill Plantier, everyone was after his cards. Eric and I actually went to a card shop probably like last year, I guess, about two hours away, where they still had Phil Plantier rookie cards in the showcase for like five bucks. It was a very interesting place. I think I walked into a wormhole and ended up there somehow. Roberto Alomar, Diamond Kings, Eckersley, Fred McGriff, and Tony Gwynn. Base, we got what, like seven packs left. Seven more chances to find an elite, and I don't think I see one in here. You'll be able to tell pretty much right away based off the edges. Sandberg highlights, but I'm not gonna up hope yet. Templeton, Keith Comstock. Love that Keith Comstock error card. It's definitely one you gotta get in your collection if you collect errors. Ozzy Smith, first time seeing that one in this whole box. Yount, Doc Gooden, another decent pack here. Moises Alou, not his rookie card. His rookie card is actually 1990 Bowman. And he had one of Fleer as well. Carter highlights. Drayback, Kruk. The creepy Ron Robinson card again. Mark Grace, Steve Avery. Same coalition. Four packs left. We're going to find a Sandberg Auto. I will settle for any kind of leagues because I've never pulled one. Always been on my agenda to get one of those out of a pack. I mean, it'd be so awesome. Brett Butler, Craig Biggio, Diamond Kings, Dave Stewart highlights, Harold Reynolds. And there were three. Lee Smith leading off, Steve Sachs, Dave Parker, Jose Offerman, another kind of big name from the early 90s. Bob Welch, just picked up Bob Welch's air card. Uh, like a week or two ago, the 89 Tops. I always wanted that one too, and finally saw the flea market for like two bucks. I'm like, I can't resist that. I gotta get that. But I saw something different. Scott Scudder, a name that has come to haunt me. Kurt Stillwell, Randy Johnson highlights. Bryn Smith, Donnie Baseball, Dickie Thon looks on the last pack. Last pack mojo. Will we have it here? If we don't, we're gonna continue on with the search for the elite. Molitor base. Looks like Bernard Gilkey in the last pack. <laughs> never a good, never a good sign when a bad omen is in the last pack. And the search continues. No elite in '91. Don Russ. But we have finally laid that rumor to rest. It's not possible to find these using a metal detector. Um, so our search will continue. We have six more boxes of Don Russ to open, and then we will continue this until we pull an elite card so stay tuned with us on this journey i appreciate you watching tonight we'll see you guys all next time take it easy